This is not an ad for Home Depot, but being one that likes to think out of the box and work out of the box, especially when it comes to portable radio operations and alternate sources for electricity to power our equipment with. Ever since I've owned battery powered power tools, I have always wanted to be able to find an easy way to use the power tool battery to run radio equipment. One day I bought a uh, rigid brand uh, drill motor. It came with two batteries, a charger, and it came with a little portable lamp fixture. Well, I knocked the lamp fixture over and broke it one day, and I said, wow, I can use the jig here and uh, be able to use that to, uh, to get 12 volts off the 20-volt uh, lithium-ion batteries. So I went and got on uh, Amazon and got that little goodie right there. 15 to 40 volts in and 12 volts out, regulated. I think it set me back 20 or 25 bucks, something like that. Being that it was cheap Chinese on Amazon, I was very concerned it might be dirty uh, on RF since it'd be switch mode technology. But I'd try it anyways, just considering the cheap price of it. So I bought it, glued it onto the battery housing, put an Anderson power pole on it, and connected it to one of my HF rigs, and tuned across all bands, and found it was quiet all the way across. No problems whatsoever. So, um, every now and then when I go and do some portable operating, like right now, I've, uh, I've used these batteries if I'm just going to be on for a short period of time. And I've wondered uh, up until now, uh, how long can I really run on one of these batteries? They're 27 watt hour batteries. Figuring that um, average power on 100 watts HF, uh, so many variables there to figure out what your average power would be. But I figured that would probably give me somewhere around maybe 15 minutes or so of transmitting time. Um, and probably about the same amount of time on a 50 watt uh, VHF, UHF, FM radio. And so today I tested that, and I got on 15 meters and called CQ, made some nice contacts. I'm a rag chewer at heart. I love to rag chew, and I love to operate portable, so they're in the best of both worlds there. And uh, I was on uh, about a half an hour on each battery, a good one-on-one -on -one rag chew, your typical HF rag chew, where each transmission runs about one to two minutes, and then you're receiving the other station for about that period of time and then again transmitting typically one to two minutes in that ballpark you know your good rag chew uh, QSO and uh, I got uh, over an hour on both batteries uh, about an hour and 15 minutes on both both batteries uh, till the little LED lit up that it was about run down so Again, for those that uh, are always looking for little power sources for your portable equipment, uh, this worked out great, and uh, you might want to consider doing one yourself if you got extra power tool batteries.